Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. No question about it, we're, we're, in, uh, we're within the scope of uh, freeze dates out there, and our last typical freeze, the average date, is May 6th in Grand Rapids. And you can see most of the locations. It's about the first week of May, of course, as you head to uh, like Asperia, further north of Big Rapids, it's mid to late May. But I wanted to show you this. After our chances of frost heading our way this upcoming week, it looks like we're going to have a warm end to the month of April and a warm start to the month of May. Now you can see much of the country, especially the heart of the country, will experience above average temperatures. Averages uh, for late to April and the early May for us are right around the low to mid 60s. Storm Track Live radar, just a few sprinkles here and there, a little bit of drizzle left over, but uh, essentially that heavier rain is now shifting east, still dealing with some wet roads out there. But if you look closely, there's spots that are starting to dry out, so we're in a drying out mode. It does certainly doesn't look like it in the GVSU campus area, but that will be the case this morning. Current temperature 47 in Muskegon, also Kalamazoo. We're at 45 in Grand Rapids, and you can see that wind out there not very strong, uh, currently between 5 to 15 miles an hour on the north and west. But boy, it's really going to pick up this afternoon. We could even see some wind gusts over 30 miles an hour with a sustained wind kind of hovering right around uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour. Here's that area of low pressure that brought the rain. It's going to move out already. You can start to see that clearing line out there. But as as you work your way to the north and west, you know that air mass is cold and you see snow showers up there and another cold front, that's going to slide through here tomorrow. Uh, here's that area of low pressure again moving out, that clearing line quickly moving in behind it, so we'll begin the day with lots of sunshine. I do expect some clouds to move in towards the evening hour, especially uh, north of Grand Rapids, and then tonight, uh, kind of a mix of clouds and clear sky. I wouldn't be surprised a few flurries will start breaking out, especially up around Traverse City area. It could even be as far south as Cadillac tomorrow morning. And as this cold front drops through, the chance of precipitation isn't zero here. We could get a stray sprinkle or even a flurry or a little bit of sleet tomorrow. And then we'll uh, end the weekend with lots of sunshine, some frost on Sunday and Monday morning. And then the next chance of rain after the weekend will arrive on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, we're not done with the frost yet. Could see more Wednesday and Thursday of next week.